in this tutorial we will learn how to make a serial in serial out shift register as we know that there are multiple types of shift registers uh, the most famous of all these are serial in parallel out and serial in serial out in parallel the serial data is going in the form of a, if the input is concerned the data is going in the form of serial on one line and then on the output we have multiple data lines so it is called a serial in parallel out but if serial in serial out is concerned it means that data is flowing serially rather than parallelly so for in order to make such a shift register we need active d type flip flops at least you must uh, have four flip flops then for input you must select logic toggle and connect the lower logic toggle to the clock pin of flip flop so now the clock is global means that all all four flip flops are now on a single clock you connect q that is output of d flip flop with the d input of the second flip flop and this q with this d and this q with this d leave q bar open then go for logic probe in order to see the the output so here you can connect this thing okay now now we are going to run it okay now uh, in the start we, we we can see that all the four outputs are showing zero zero yeah because when we make this clock on the input from first fifth flow will go to the second flip flop and on next pulse of the clock the second bit will be transferred to the output of first flip flop and you can see these four these four output serial output logic probes so data will come first on uh, this 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 first output then when we send the second data input one bit input the first input will move towards the second the second logic probe and after giving the third bit the second logic probe data will be moving towards the third probe and up to fourth one so first we will try to pass one like this one and uh, momentarily we will give a clock pulse yes as two clock pulses we have given we have given the two clock pulses so one first one is that second one is that okay 
now we will make the input as 0 and give a clock pulse and then it will be 0 1 1 yeah 0 1 1 means that the both the one are now moving towards the moving towards the left okay now again we will give one and now you can see that it is one zero one one we are actually giving data serially and we are getting serial output so it's uh, okay for today hopefully you can make it at your own thanks for watching